What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got an incredibly simple but pretty important video on Affinity Photo. Now of course if you don't know what Affinity Photo is, it's my preferred photo editor. It's pretty much exactly the same as Photoshop but you pay once off and it's got some really cool features such as previews when you're using tools, etc, etc and certain other points that Photoshop seems to miss and a couple of improvements. But anyways, enough talking about the program, you're here because you want to learn something about it. And that is how to save something with a transparent background. Possibly you'll create an image like this with simply just one element, which is a piece of text and you want to save it without a background. You'll hit Ctrl Alt Shift S to bring up the export settings screen or you can go to File followed by Export and you'll go ahead and pick say JPEG or something else. You'll click Export save it to a folder, say on your desktop. You'll go ahead and have a look at the image and you'll see that there is in fact a background here. You can see it's slightly different from the background of Windows Photo Viewer. However, if I go ahead and say save it instead of JPEG, I save it in PNG, which is a file format that can have transparent backgrounds. I'll go ahead and save it. And as you can see, it still has a background even in the preview over here. And over here, you can see it still has that white background. How exactly do you make a new image without a background? Well, it's actually pretty simple. I'll hit Control N to make a new document, or I'll go ahead and click File New. Then just simply make sure that you have Transparent Background checked. And if you haven't looked at the color format and color profile arguments before, I usually pick sRGB and RGB8. However, this can be whatever you want. Just make sure that Transparent Background is checked. I'll hit OK. And as you can see, this board over here is already different to my previous board and that there's a checkerboard background. When I move the image, you can see the background doesn't move. That means that we don't have a background. If I go ahead and copy my text element, paste it in, I can go ahead and Control Alt Shift S, save it as a JPEG and I'll call it Untitled 2. I'll go into my folder and as you can see, it still has a white background. Why is this? Well, it's rather simple and that's just because JPEGs don't support a transparent background. The only one supporting a transparent background here would be PNG, PSD, SVG and I think a couple of other ones may be EPS but I'm not exactly sure with these other options. I just know that JPEG, I'm pretty sure GIF and possibly TIFF won't be able to have a transparent background. So I'll click PNG and this is usually the format you'll save images without backgrounds in. And as you can see, this over here looks vastly different to these three. And if I open it up, there's no big white border. This is simply just the piece of text that we wanted. Perfect. If we head back into Affinity Photo and we were to do something like cover it up with a bright green block, Control Alt Shift S, export, save it into the same file or a different file. You can see it updates and there's a green block without a background. But let's say we want to save just one layer instead of saving the entire image. So what I'll do is make sure that my layer is covered just so you can see what's happening. I'll go ahead and select either one or multiple layers on the far right. So I'll click the one with the text. And as you can see, the box is highlighted behind this green box. I'll hit Control Alt Shift S and this window will pop up down here by area. I'll go ahead and pick selection without background. Export and I'll save it as say Untitled 3. Looking inside of my folder, you can see another image over here. The size is 1624 by 170 and these are all 2K, 2560 by 1440. So this is a vastly different file size. However, you can see it saved just the text, perfectly cropped, and there'll be basically no white space at the top, bottom and sides. This is just this piece of text, just that one single layer we have. Of course, if we go ahead and add it into the green block as such, select the green block, Control shift s Area, Selection Without, Export, and we'll save it as Untitled 4. If I have a look inside of the folder, here is our image now. It's got the green background and the text on top of it. However, it's perfectly cropped to just this area. Now, I in fact didn't know this little useful tip up until today, but if you came here expecting to know everything you saw, then you probably learn something new, which is always great. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.